just have a look on a program related to multiple inheritance we'll create a class named m protected section we are taking here declare a variable we'll just change this to capital and a public section declare one function get m find end of m class now we are creating a new class that is n protected section integer n get n function has been defined inside n class find this is n class and we are creating two base class we have created here m and n now we are creating a derived class p but accessing the properties of from both the base class m comma n this is multiple inheritance concept now inside this public section void display end of p derive class we are calling the function get m from m base class that is get m passing a single argument integer x of data type integer m equals to x same way from n base class get n function has been used with single argument integer y so we have just defined get m from m base class and get n from n base class inside this n equals to y now using a derive class p display function void just displaying the value of m n c m value same way we are displaying the value of n m into n we are just multiplying the value of m n it's m into n fine all the functions has been completed now we start with the main through derive class p we are creating one object clear the screen and access the functions with the help of this object p dot get m see passing the value 10 then p dot get n p dot display get ch return the value 0 fine we will just run this program press control f9 two errors were there
remove the semicolon press control F9 see m equals to 10 the correct value has been displayed 10 and 20 and the product of that two values are 200 hope you understood the concept of multiple inheritance means first we have created two base class that is m n upon that one derived class but accessing the properties of from both the base class and through derived class we are creating an object and accessing the functions of both the base class